Hello everyone, Martin here, back with another Legacy video. Um, today, playing a different Doomsday list to what I've been playing lately. Uh, lately, been playing the uh, the more sort of uh, recently appearing Mark Tobias list. But today, I'm playing a straight all killer, no filler, uh, Demir Turbo list. This is straight from the presses. This is what um, Wonder Pro. Uh, who is a, a Doomsday and just generally combo, legacy combo, uh, aficionado, expert, monster, don't want to run into him in a dark alley, you know, that kind of player. Excellent. Um, excellent player. Took this to um, a, a top finish in the legacy so showcase, showcase qualifier, I believe it's called. And another um, fantastic Doomsday player, uh, Ethan Formicella, Monkeys Can't Cry is uh, his handle, I believe. Played a very similar similar list to a top four finish in the the Legacy Challenge this past weekend. So, um, what's different here than uh, what I'm used to playing? Well, there's the two Oracles. I usually am a fan of just playing one, but I'm playing the exact same 75 as Wonder Pro played. Um, I'm usually not playing ley lines. I, I don't know. I just um, whenever I play ley lines, I feel like I get completely punished. Um, you know, mulligan into oblivion, or you know, keep hands and then like draw running ley lines. So inc incredibly results biased, obviously, or outcome biased, I suppose. Um, but I'm I'm here I'm here for the for the ride. Um, obviously, uh, this list was made for a more high stakes tournament. Um, than the legacy leagues on Magic Online, so you know I, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to align. Some one one thing I didn't want to touch on that I'm really really excited about is this member. Um, this this card I can only imagine is here to hit one thing and one thing only, and that is Magus of the Moon. This kills a Magus of the Moon through a Chalice on one, and with all uh, quote unquote mountains in play. And I think that when I lose to Boris Initiative, I feel like, I don't know, like three out of four losses is due to a Magus of the Moon. Um, especially one that comes out through a Cavern of Souls. It's just so brutal. So and I think I was hesitant or actually, I, I think I, I always, I never really con truly considered playing Dismember because of the life loss being so inherently sort of not what Doomsday wants to to be up to so this is not a removal spell to bring in versus uh like a tempo deck this is a removal spell for magas of the moon and i i suppose i'll i'll bring it in versus whatever like savannah x if i need uh like a removal spell to hit a thalia or something but but generally speaking this is this is here for magus um oh yeah one thing this is a four personal tutor list i can't i think i maybe tried that once or twice um I, other than that like three has been my max i'm usually not the biggest fan, but Wonder Pro and Ethan are really uh, big on this card, and um, yeah, I mean, like I said, this is the list. Let's take it for a spin. All right, on the play for round number one against this user that I I seem to remember playing against quite a few times, uh, and I believe they're like a reanimator uh, fiend. Well, this is a mulligan, regardless of the opponent. Yeah, I'll keep this. Um, if my if my memory is correct, then this is a combo opponent, and we have the second Oracle. Hooray! So we can pitch this and feel good. And I think I'm just going to bottom a, a fetch land. Uh, opponent kept seven. So yeah, let's bottom Scalding Tarn. Let's, uh, let's Thoughtseize. Hey, what do you know? All right, so... <laughs> We're going to get our, our hands stripped here. Um, is there any... Like, I think I just I take the animate dead and then just leave them with a bunch of discard and mana, and that's it. Yeah. And I'm going to actually try and go like this. Yeah, I'm trying this uh, where you're, you float the, uh, the reveal cards. Not sure if, if I'll like that more, but let's see. Um, okay, I'm going to play the pedal, because otherwise I'm going to lose it. And, uh, yeah, let's just pass and hope to rip a doomsday.
Oh, yeah, one thing I didn't f touch on in the in the intro was that, or the deck tech, was that um, Wonder Pro plays Ideas Unbound and Consider. I like I have um, I have sometimes been missing uh, Ideas Unbound, mostly like when when you get to win quote unquote like same turn win with a like a brainstorm and a blue co a brainstorm a spare card in hand and a blue mana like if you have two or three blue mana instead then sometimes i do miss like being able to draw an additional card um okay so they have five cards in hand so the extra thoughts these unmasked dark ritual swamp and one unknown come on doomsday it's not a doomsday do we play this this thassa I think we play it because we have the spare one and um, we get the, the little, little like mini scry. Um, yeah, I'll grab a ponder. All right, so we're probably getting the dark ritual uh, thought seized here as well. There's the swamp. They have two unknowns. If they've drawn a, a creature and a, an animation spell, then they can thought seize themselves or unmask themselves, I suppose. Okay, they're just passing. Interesting. That means if this, um, if this, uh, what do you call it? This ponder hits a doomsday, we can cast it right now. Ah, uh, close, but no cigar. That's a shuffle. Uh, let's just keep hold of these. Make them have to respect like another force of will. All right, let's uh, serve up the uh, the big damage here. Okay, so they unmask me pitching uh, unmask. So their hand is Thoughtsy's Dark Ritual plus two. For some reason, they're floating a mana. Okay, they take the Dark Ritual. Another dark ritual. This is like a grief, maybe. Thoughtseize. Yeah. Okay. So now they have Archon of Cruelty. <clears throat> so we lose this Lotus Petal, and I think we just lose because we take three, go to fourteen, and even if we rip Dark Ritual, uh, sorry, if we rip Doomsday here, that will leave us at seven, and their attack will deal eight damage. So. GG's. They got there before we did. Alright, I wonder if this is a Leyline of Sanctity matchup. They do have an awful lot of discard, as we just saw, but um, then again... Yeah, I don't know. Like, so the good thing about... Um, the good thing about Sanctity here is that it completely shields us from discard, and actually... The way that Reanimator wins, if like actually wins here, obviously they actually win by dealing us twenty damage uh, through combat. But what what happens is they discard, they get a Crystal Brine into play, they draw a million cards, they they cast two or two to four discard spells, just ripping our hand, and then we were effectively out. Whereas if we have a, a white ley line, we can um, we can just sort of like we get we get maybe two more turns um so i'm not i don't hate that i think like the forces of negations can come in that's a lot of cards and and we didn't even get to fluster storm fluster storm is mid i think because it doesn't like doesn't stop grief doesn't stop like anime dead but it does have relevant text and i wonder about the one ring like that's also something that gives us protection, but that's sort of what the ley line is there for. Um, and that's only for one turn. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I like being able to win same turn here, but I don't mind cutting like cutting a cycler, cutting maybe a couple of personal tutors, um, maybe cutting the ideas inbound and the extra thassa. Uh, Maybe I'll shave like a lotus petal and a cabal ritual. I, I'm yeah, I'm not really sure to be honest. This 
way I, I brought in zero flusters, so we'll have to do. Wow. Okay. Is that just like, <laughs> is that just like the nuts? I think it is. Um, wow. Jesus. Uh, protected turn one doomsday with, and with ley line. Well, sometimes, you know, the world serves you up. Yes, I do have opening hand actions. All right, so now I think what can possibly kill us is like, I don't know, Magus of the Moon, I guess. But uh, I'm not too worried about that. I guess like if they have interaction in the shape of like Mindbreak Traps or Pyroblasts or even like Silence could, could muck us up here. All right, let's get an Underground C and cast Doomsday. And I think I'm not going to play around them disrupting me. So I'm going to just make a Brainstorm Consider pile. And hope that's good enough. Because that wins next turn. If I want to, like, be safer and win with Force of Will in hand, I'll, I'll have to give them at least one extra turn. So I think this is... This is okay. There's a Swamp. I was going to say, I think I actually Force of Will a Petal here, because Petal represents Pyroblast or Silence. Um, but... They didn't play one, so let's just hope they don't have like surgical extraction or uh, I don't know, like uh, any order. This is funny. This is where Magic Online cheats in a way. So I, w I was discarding my days and my force of will to the Lion's Eye Diamond, and Magic Online prompts me to decide if I, in what order I want to have these card dis these two cards discarded. Which I think only happens when opponent or when when a player has effects in their deck that cares about the order of the of uh, the graveyards. But I don't know what that would be because it's not animate dead, and like shallow grave cares about that, but it doesn't care about my or my graveyard. I don't think. I think it's only from their own graveyard, but I could be wrong. Anyways, that's just funny. I just noticed that. Um, okay, so that prompted a concession. I would have been sad if that hand didn't win, uh, so happy about that. Okay, uh, do we change anything here? I think probably not. May I don't know, I wouldn't hate the one ring, but then again, I'm not sure what I would cut. Okay, can we get another uh, good hand? Yikes, that's not good. Yeah, that's a mulligan. They mulligan to six as well. Okay, I'll keep this. And I suppose I will put away the Lines Eye Diamond. I don't hate the Edge of Autumn here. If like, we get to Doomsday, we can uh, yeah, use that to win on the same turn. They mulligan to five, okay. Doesn't mean they can't just like get something going here, but they are passing. Okay, drew another force of will. I think I just pass with double force up here. I could ponder, but if I end up like having to shuffle, um, which there is a much smaller risk of me having to do if I ponder on turn two. Yeah, that's getting countered. Every day of the week and twice on Sundays, I believe the saying goes. It sucks if they just have a second one or whatever, but that is sort of why we're, that's what the Force of Wills are for. Yep, they had another one. Going to have to force that too. Yeah, that sucks. That's uh, obviously a terrible deal for me. Two for wanting myself twice, but um, I think that is sort of the line here. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to pass. Not going to do anything here. We could ramp, like cast Edge of Autumn to get a, a basic island in play, but I don't think so. Okay, and they have the blue splash, so they could have show and tell. Right. Well, I'm, I'm going to thought seize them here. If, if they're sitting on two creatures, I'm going to feel so silly, but uh, that is what it is. What is this? 
When it enters the battlefield, any number of creature cards from your hand onto the battlefield. Oh, that's that's cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna gonna go ahead and take the reanimate there, pal. But they're like a show and tell away from having a twelve twelve trampler. Jesus, that's a an angry dinosaur. Stampede tyrant, not a stampeding tyrant, but a stampede tyrant. Uh, that's funny. Ha! <laughs> there we go. Leyline of crap. No, I'm sorry. It certainly uh, showed up when I wanted it to in the last game. Okay, brainstorm would be nice. Doomsday would be amazing. Ponder, I'll take. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to... No, okay, yeah. Brainstorm. Is muy bueno. Muy, muy. Jesus. That was not a good brainstorm. Alright. Um, yeah, let's pass here. We can Hail Mary, like, shuffle with the Tarn, and then sack a land with Edge of Autumn to hit a blue card for the Force of Negation. But, um... I, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. They are passing. Okay, that means Force of Negation now is live. Um, okay, come on. Doomsday? Street Wraith. I think I'll cycle that. That means if they have like uh, an animation spell, they can they can use it. Okay, sweet. That's it. That's what we needed. All right, so let's put uh, put it like this, so that next turn we can um, we can just doomsday and win off of LED. All right. So they have three cards we don't know about, and if any of them are like meaningful interruption spells, then that's not so good. Okay, so let's uh, edge sack LED. We have four blue, so we can draw. Okay, never mind. They concede. Sweet. Off to round number two. On the draw? No, sorry. On the play. Once more for round number two. Yeah, I'll keep this. And I think I lead on Thoughtseize. Or I suppose I could lead on... I could lead on Ponder, because we have days to protect ourselves from the worst of the worst. That could happen. All right. Um, let's uh, let's draw it up like this. So we have two thought seizes, and we draw the personal tutor. Because I don't want to draw two personal tutors, and if they have a discard spell, and I put it like I draw a personal tutor and then draw thought seize, and they discard my personal tutor, then it's a little bit annoying. Okay. Looks like it's a, uh, maybe a tempo deck. Yep. Right on. Going to thought seize them. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, there is Bowmasters, but no more lands for the time being. I think I take the days. If they draw land, we can we can daze their bowmasters. We put Doomsday on top, and we pass. There's a ponder. So they didn't draw land, I would have to assume. They choose not to shuffle, sure. I guess they play Delver here, probably. So now that we have a choice, which is whether or not to Thoughtseize away the, the bowmasters now, or play like Ideas Unbound as a big loot. And if that then hits like land plus dark ritual. No, we would even we would still need to hit even more than that. Which is yeah. Yeah, I'm not I don't know. I think I am actually gonna loot here. Quote unquote loot. Because this hand isn't really going uh places they have one unknown if it's a daze, that's a little bit annoying. Okay. 
Um, hmm. So I think I have to put three cards in the graveyard this turn. I think it'll be LED. Nice as that would have been. And the second Thoughtseize, and then. I don't know, like. It's between Ponder and Cavern, probably. I think we've been the Cavern. I, I think we need the Ponder. Yeah. Okay, that's unfortunate. And if they have a land on top, or have drawn, like, Force of Will or Days, I guess they probably Days here if they have it. So we'll see. If they flip the Delver with, like, a Force or a Days, then we can't even Days their uh, Bowman. And obviously, if they draw land, the days is off anyways. But this, I believe, is a blind, blind uh, reveal here. Oh. So, they are brainstorming in response because they want to flip. That's cool. Leave the card on top. They like what they what they found. Maybe they found a wasteland. Or just any land. All right. Revealing what? What? They didn't reveal anything? How is that possible? Oh, geez. Because they all, all they have are these creatures. And they found more creatures on a land. That's sick. And a bobble. Yeah, okay. Man, it's not free. Not free p putting bobble into your deck. When you have Delver of Secrets. They're going to have Delirium now. Okay, so we're at 12. Okay, I'm going to ponder here and then if they uh, bowmaster i'm gonna daze because that also ensures that i have a second land mm. is this good enough like so delver doesn't flip next turn either but they can make like a big merc tide we can thought these that way that means we're at 12 so let's say we're at 12 we're 10 then then they beat us down to six and we untap and draw Edge of Autumn, and that's just not good enough. I think, crazy as it sounds, I have to I have to shuffle this because we can replay one of the lands here, and then so let's say I I don't shuffle here. I draw the strand. I play my uh, C. I thought sees the Murktide. I'm at 10. Then I... Then they attack me down to 6. Then I untap, draw Edge of Autumn, and then I have to Doomsday now. But, um, like, I'm missing a Brainstorm or a Petal or a Dark Ritual for that to work. Or the LED that I put away before. Um, yeah. Let's shuffle. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I have to thought seize here. Unpleasant as that may be. Well they have sec wow, that's good. So I guess they're drawing the uh the Murktide. Yeah, I think this just this kills us probably, but I'm gonna take uh I'm gonna take Bowmasters here. There's a chance that we we rip a brainstorm, which then rips like um, the last cards we need. So we know the Delver isn't flipping. Wait, what? Where'd the Murktide go? I guess I must have missed a like with the brainstorm. Okay, well now I think we can't win. They're gonna wasteland us. Yeah, humana, humana. <sighs> At least they had the kindness to waste my tapped land. Yeah, all right, GG's. Off to the sideboard. <clears throat> all right, so we for sure want uh, Shouldred here. And I think I kind of want the One Ring. And... Let's see. I talked to Wonder Pro, and I'm not exactly, sh I'm not completely sure, but 
he seems to want to keep at least some number of personal tutors in, at least on the on the play. Um, so what do we cut here? Maybe we cut the second Thassa. I don't think we'll, we'll be needing two. And I guess we can cut like a street wraith because ow, ow. And I don't know. Maybe the, a second personal tutor. Yeah, I think that's it. It's 19 blue cards. That is sort of on the low end of what I'm comfortable with for Force of Will, but... But, yeah, it'll have to do. Yeah. The personal tutor is kind of awkward here, but... Um, okay, I think I'm going to lead on the Underground Sea and risk the Wasteland here, but... Because I do kind of want to brainstorm for my next turn. I'm going to brainstorm now, so they if they have days, they don't get the surveil. And, you know, I suppose I could have just brainstormed on my own turn if that was the case. Ugh, it's not what I wanted. We're not, I'm not going to, like, waste a, a Lotus Petal to go completely unprotected off here. They're pausing on the draw step, indicating they may want to surgical extract something, which could only be brainstorm. And I, I'm, like, okay with that, if that is indeed what they, what they were going to do. All right, let's uh, let's shuffle here. I suppose it was free to get the watery grave uh, at the end of turn. So yeah, let's just uh, I suppose say go. Ah, actually, 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 no, no. Oh. Um, I was gonna say I could I could have cast uh, Edge of Autumn there. That would actually have been good to ramp. Oh, what am I saying? This is a Demir deck. Ha! No, uh, no green mana. I'm not going to waste a petal to get a land out. Okay, so there's Bowmasters. That's, uh, that's going to prob probably cause some problems for us. Yeah, that Grixis Delver is just, like, the, the hardest of the tempo decks, I think, to, that are currently so sort of seeing play. So what's our best draw here? Probably Shouldred. Even then, I'm not sure if we race if we race this scenario. So they just need an instant or uh, Mistress Bobble to get Delirium here. They don't shuffle. So we take three, and we're at fourteen. Oh. I think I do grab the Watery Grave here. All right. Can we get a shoulder it, please? Ha! <laughs> Come the fuck on. Um, are we even really interested in resolving, like, I was thinking I could bait, um, the one ring. Uh, so, yeah, like, bait Doomsday to then be able to resolve one ring next turn. So I feel pretty sure they have one hard counter at least. Um, so what if we like try and resolve Doomsday here? I'm I'm, I'm really hoping they don't <laughs> they don't let this resolve because I just spent my my land drop on this underground sea. Um. Something tells me they're about to let this resolve. Because I'll be at 6 then. And um, they know what's coming from the Ponder, so they know if they'll be able to like deal me 6 next turn or, or what. Shit. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I mean, I'll be at 6, so I can I can draw through the pile. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> we're going to put a, put a force of will on top. And then we're going to, uh, we need Thassa and I guess like what, like a dark ritual. 
so what happens? We um we draw force of will, we put the one ring on the stack. We hope we are able to resolve it. Can we even pay the life to the force of will? We'll be at six. There is three damage on the board right now. If they get this up to a three three, then we can't. They just need to cast an instant next turn. And then we can't force of will. So not looking good team, not gonna lie. Um let's uh Yeah. Do we even want that dark ritual? So let's say we draw force of will and then we cast um then I think a lotus petal is better than a dark ritual. Let's just magical Christmas land it up here and say everything just happens the way we want it to happen. So we draw force of will. We tap everything but the lotus petal to cast the one ring that just magically resolves. Then we draw one card, which is let's say the consider. <clears throat> then we spend lotus petal to cast consider. Put like throwing away edge of autumn drawing petal and then we can edge of autumn into the yeah this is not going to work but thus uh i guess maybe not thus on the bottom if for some reason this doesn't work the way we want it to work maybe the putting in the force will is folly but they nah, they must have something right Oops, I almost did it wrong here. Consider needs to be above Edge of Autumn. Alright, this is where they have a lightning bolt and none of this matters. Yeah, alright, GG's. Rough, rough, rough. Alright, on to round number three. Alright, we're up against Strifo and we're on the draw here in round number three. Strifo is uh, famed for inventing uh, the deck known as Strifo Pile which is uh, sort of, um, yeah, it's a pile. Um, it's sort of like a, a f four or five colors. I think usually four colors, everything but white. Sort of good stuff. Um, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to personal tutor here. That lets them know what we're doing, but um, our hand is pretty, pretty well poised. We have three cantrips that can look for a force of will. Um, oh no, okay. Well, in that case, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for it right now and hope that uh, Strifo doesn't have a counter spell. All right, so no time to waste here. We're going to be drawing, uh, I think, four cards. So we can we can take that damage, but we do lose if uh, if opponent has a counter spell or an endurance. Endurance, I'm not so worried about, but yeah, counter spell. All right, thoughts on the bottom, cycler on top, and the next three doesn't matter. Don't think uh, Strife will place days. All right, let's put away uh, Consider on top of Ideas Unbound. So we'll be at six, then we'll be at five from the edge, four from the Consider, three from the last edge, and then, and then it's Oracle time. We could have uh, put a Street Wraith in here, and we would be at one. Um, but... Uh, we didn't need to. All right, sweet. Do you have endurance? Please, no, right? Yeah, all right, cool, cool. We got there. All right, I think uh, Shieldred is pretty good. I think the One Ring is pretty good. Um, I think Flusterstorm is honestly not the worst here. I think I like cutting maybe all personal tutors. Can't, I don't know if the blue count can handle that. We'll be at 20 blue cards then. 
um, I think like line side diamond and consider. Oh, no, I'd, I'd rather cut personal tutor number four. Just have a, a mediocre consider cantrip. Um, I'll cut an edge. Yeah, yeah, let's try this. Okay, just a whole lot of action here. Wow, more action. That's uh, a little bit more than, than what we want here. Not going to ideas unbound into this bow master mana. It looks like they have the bow master. Wow, what a shock. I suppose I could have gone for a doomsday there. I think, yeah, maybe I was supposed to do that. Just like cast doomsday, have it get forced, and then like untap and cast the one ring. If we cast doomsday here, we'll be at, we'll be at 13. Then we'll be at six. Like theoretically, that still beats what's in front of us. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cast the doomsday here. Um, they might be tempted to let it resolve, in which case we can then untap, draw force of will, like versus still our opponent. But this is under significantly less pressure, um, and then we can um, cast the one ring. But yeah, a lot of things have to go right between now and then. Okay, so that just happened. Let's uh, draw a force of will. And this so will be at six, we'll be at four. Uh, I suppose to consider kind of upset that I boarded out one edge and, and not one street wraith. I suppose we need a Thassa here, right? They could be the sort of person to have like a dress down in their deck. So let's see here. So we draw Force of Will, we play Underground Sea, we resolve the one ring. The one ring draws uh, a card. Let's say it draws the uh, the Cavern of Souls, and then we can Edge of Autumn, oops, we can Edge of Autumn into, into Thassa, and then they can kill that if they want to, blah, blah, blah. But wait, we won't have enough mana to do that, right? We're mana short. Yeah, we're a mana short. That's a bit of a problem. We could play, play like the one ring into the one ring. Yeah, let's try this. Maybe the two Thassas is, is a bit too cute. Um, I think actually second Thassa needs to get binned by the Consider. Maybe the consider wasn't the smart thing to put in the pile here. Yeah, let's try it like this, I guess. If need be, we can edge of autumn right now. We take one, go to five, and then take three from uh, the army. So we're at two, then we force a full, we're at one. But then, like, we, we lose to a ring. Oh, endurance. Just like that, huh? Um, let's, uh, let's try that thing I just said. They probably have a force here. I'd be surprised if they didn't. But I think we have to try this. Okay. GG's. All right, well, they didn't see the One Rings, so that's that's something, I guess. Not sure about, like, maybe having a copy of Personal Tutor. Also, let's bring in the Second Edge, cut the Street Wraith. Um, let's cut Consider, then. Yeah, keep this. It's like a blue card away from turn two Doomsday, um, 
maybe uh, maybe we actually cycle Street Wraith in case we had Thought Seize. Because that way we can Thought Seize this turn. Oh, we can... Hmm. We could Doomsday right now. Doomsday right now. Fuck, I don't know. The last several times I've attempted this, except I suppose in game one of this very round, but I my opponent has like a force. So did I board out second copy of Thassa? No, right? No. Um Nah, fuck it. Let's wait. Let's hope we find like a a blue card for this force of will. Oh no, Veil of Summer. That would be terrible. Okay, let's uh let's see if we can get Doomsday to resolve here. Force Wall of the Forgotten. What the heck? This is a new card, right? All right. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, do we force right into the veil? Let's try it out. Okay. Oh. That was unexpected. Um, so no more hard counter there. All right, now I do actually want a the one ring. Um and a cycler. Let's just see here so we can draw the one ring that can draws the cavern, I suppose. And yeah, yeah, let's try this. Let's hope they don't like kill my my lotus petal here. Or Assassin's Trophy, one of the lands, that'd be kind of annoying, but... Oh. No... No uh, Bowmasters for you. And I think they're incentivized to not keep a Force of Negation here, because they, they need Force of Will. Because they might think that the only thing they could be countering is, is the Oracle, but I don't know. Okay, let's see if this resolves. It does... Lovely. Okay. Strifo, I have seen, uh, has played like Cephalid Coliseum in this deck. But, uh, yeah. That's not too scary. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Uh, I did that. I was going to wait. Oh, never mind. All right. So, they have no red mana. I think we got this, except if if they have, um, oh yeah, no, we don't got this. If if they have uh, uh, dress down, then it's uh, it's not good. Then we lose. All right, let's cast this without deploying cavern. See if we can get them to like sp like spew. Uh, oh no. Ugh. Why Strifo? Why? Yep, all right, GG's, we lose when we get our draw step. On the draw for round number four with a pretty tasty hand, gonna keep this. Yeah, I think with regards to the last game in round three versus Strifo, I think um, in retrospect, I showed my inexperience with playing two oracles. Like, I think I was not facing any threats at all. I think I didn't need to draw the second time with a ring. And then, you know, you could set up a, a situation where it's just like, they didn't have red mana, which was a pretty big uh, thing. So uh, uh, an oracle was pretty likely to resolve. So we could have just played like Edged of Autumn instead of drawing all three cards that turn. We could have just drawn two of them with the draw step or even just like not even draw with Edge of Autumn and then play the the one oracle and then they probably have to 
dress down. Then they need two dress downs in order for this to work. Oh, this is scary though. Human. So if they have a if if there is a Magus of the Moon in my immediate future, then then we we just lose here. But let's uh <clears throat> let's hope that to not be the case, and that it's only like I don't know an initiative thing or or something. Anointed Peacekeeper would also be pretty problematic if they name Thassa's Oracle. Do we want a cavern in case they have like a, a chalice for full for two? Um, let's get the island as well. We can fetch that with with flooded strand. Um, Edge of Autumn, maybe. How does this look? So we draw. So we can draw Edge of Autumn. And then we play Flooded Strand, and then we, like, if they have main deck Magus, then maybe, maybe, like, it's better to have a Lotus Petal than to try and play around a Chalice. We can force the Will Chalice anyways. What am I thinking about? Yeah, I think this works. Um... All right, let's see where we're at after this turn. I also, I'll force like any artifact mana here to stop whatever they're trying to ramp out into. Chalice for one, yes, that is fine. I would have forced the chalice for zero, I think. Um, so right now there's a lotus petal. So we could just win, right? No, no, we can't. We can't cast Consider because of the Chalice. So it's fine. We'll wait one more turn. Chrome Mox. I think I like forcing that. I don't think we lose from here, but I don't know. Well, I have four mana anyways. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we draw second Edge of Autumn. We uh, float blue, cycle this, and then we uh, fetch, <coughs> getting the island out, which we then also cycle away, and hopefully that shall prompt the concession. All right. So we get to try out the dismember tech here. So let's get those in. I think we also want Force of Negation for this matchup. And I think we can cut probably days, or at least one copy of days. I think we don't need two copies of Thassa. Mm. How good is Thoughtseize here on the draw? Probably not that good. And also, like, is Shieldred a consideration? They don't draw any cards, really, but she can, like, tangle with stuff on the ground, but nah, probably not. Um, maybe I cut one personal tutor in the, in the Chalice matchup on the draw. I submitted it. I feel like maybe I, maybe I missed something. All right, okay, so this is a pretty good pretty good hand I'm not gonna lie I've been, been blessed with some good hands in this in this league ancient tomb pass it makes me think they probably have like cavern of souls into uh, into magus we shall see so I'm gonna doomsday here and I'm gonna build a pile that has this member in it Um, it's going to be a little bit rough on the life total. This member is going to cost me four life, and I'll be at I'll be at nine after this. All right, let's put the basic island in there and the cavern. And Thassa. And Edge of Autumn, and then this member. 
So Misty Rainforest fetches the island. So let's say we'll draw this member, then we'll draw edge. And then we will have cavern, we'll have basic island on the bottom, then cavern, then Thassa, so we can edge into Thassa right there and then if, if we need to. So let's see here, we'll, if we have to dismember something, we'll drop to five, four with the fetch land, three with force of will. Yeah, there's the cavern. Oh, Archon. That's interesting. Um... So, how much of a problem is this, honestly? So, the pile is uh, Edge of Autumn, Thassa. Edge of Autumn, Thassa, right? And then Cavern and... Uh, I think I, I just, I'm okay playing this tapped, because the, the next land it gets is going to be untapped, which is the basic island. <clears throat> And I'm just more afraid of them, like, having se second cavern and on human uh, for Magus. We can take the two here. Curl Mox, okay. Something that makes red mana. Fable, okay. So... We can just, well, I mean, we, we, the cavern won't matter. Uh, oh yeah, actually no, because they have uh, red blast up. So I am gonna, I'm gonna kill this, this little thing here. I'm gonna drop to three. Okay, so draw edge. Um, so, We'll be at two, so we can still force of will the pyroblast. We could also brainstorm here. Yeah, brainstorm makes it an empty library. And if they pyroblast this, then it's also okay. Okay, let's uh, put Dasa here. And we can name Merfolk. We get the island. All right. Yep. Yeah, sweet. GGs. I'm pleased about that. Boros initiative. All right. So final uh, round will be uh, for a positive record. Let's hope we can get it. All right. Positive record on the line on the play for final round. Yeah. Let's let's go for this. Gonna gonna fetch underground sea and cast ponder here. I think. And what I want is to find uh, Dark Ritual land, and then like Dark Ritual or a land or a petal, and then ideally like a daze or a force of will. I do kind of feel light packing only two dazes here. I have to say. All right, let's uh, let's see what we find here. Not gonna get the basic island because we have petals, so we're pretty close to casting the Doomsday in our hand. If we get wasteland it. Them's the breaks. Well, I think I have to shuffle this because no land. Uh, get a brainstorm, anyways. So, right now, we could be a scam deck. Uh, we could be Doomsday. We could be, I suppose, Greek Sistelver. Oh, it's an underground sea mirror. All right. <clears throat> What do you take here? Maybe the Doomsday? Yeah, makes sense. Alright, you also play Days. Well, long pause here. Oh, come on. Gross. Um. Let's try and see if we can uh, resolve personal tutor here to shuffle. I don't know. I think I have to shuffle here. It's between this and ponder. And um, it feels like maybe they've been hanging on to a daze for this. But I could be wrong. 
Okay. All right. So we we put a doomsday on top here, but we still have like a lot of work to do. I'm almost not sure if this is a combo mirror or like a scam deck. Lauren revealed doesn't really mean it's one or the other. Tropical Island means it's I don't know, maybe not a combo deck. All right, choose not to shuffle. Let's um, let's cycle Street Wraith here. I'd like to find a land. All right, we found a land. Excellent. Um, let's uh, let's Thoughtseize. Witherbloom Command is somewhat nasty here. They also have a Wasteland. Gross. They had the days. Interesting. Or maybe they just drew it. What is this? This why is this gross? It uh yeah it mills three cards so they can mill mill us out if we doomsday pass, but it's sorcery speed so it's somewhat play aroundable so to speak. Um I think we take the days here. Uh annoying as it is for them to have bowmasters, but um if we can get to doomsday next turn then we can still sort of win on the same turn. But it means, it means this ponder has to hit uh, pretty nicely. And yeah, I guess this is like just some sort of bug control deck. Bug midrange. I'm not sure if ley lines are supposed to come in versus this. Like if they're also playing grief, then I would say absolutely. But if they're not, then it's quote unquote only uh thought season bowmasters all right let's uh let's grab underground sea here and ponder dark virtual force of will would be kind of kind of nutty yeah that's not good enough because of the wasteland ah uh, bummer so let's shuffle here Draw, consider. Okay. Yep. There's Wasteland. Yep. Ooh. Interesting. No Bowmasters. And they're casting their only blue cards, even if... Why? Hang on. Another Ponder. Okay. Not sure. I think there's one card in their hand I'm showing that I'm not supposed to know what is okay okay this is where we have to um, get lucky um, yeah, I don't know I'm not sp I don't know if I'm supposed to play out that misty like if they have days I'd rather have brainstorm days than like me hitting a dark ritual right now and then <clears throat> which I do sick Um, so let's put away, I think crazy though it may seem, I'm going to put away the consider because I would rather them not like discarding that and bow mastering. Okay. Let's hope that the card in hand is not days. Now they also, if doomsday resolves here, they have a choice to make in terms of, uh, like Witherbloom command versus... Orcish Bowmasters. Do you have days? Okay, no days. I could play... Wow, they concede! Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know that I'm just winning here. Like, I'm, I'm already thinking, like, okay, so if they have a Wasteland, that's pretty bad for me. If they... Like, if they just tap out for Orcish Bowmasters, then we... We can win, but not if they also have like a counter spell. So yeah, I don't know. But they conceded, so lucky for us. Um, doesn't feel like the most pleasant matchup, but um, okay. So Leyline I think comes in because it stops Bowmasters from you know they can still still get to make the 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 army, but doesn't punish each draw. It stops Thoughtseize. It stops Grief if they have that. It stops Witherbloom. Um, I think 
shoulder is pretty good. I also think the one ring is pretty good. Honestly, I, there's a lot to like here. I also kind of don't hate, like, Flusterstorm. Um, maybe, like, four ley line is, like, one too many. But that's the thing. I don't know how to really approach ley lines because if you have ley lines, don't you want all of them to increase the chance you have one on turn zero? Hmm. All right. Let's cut the instant stuff. Um, but again, we pretty quickly run into some issues with blue cards. 19, is that enough? And we sort of run, we have to cut, make, like, cut some stuff here. Maybe cut up, is Petal better or Cabal Ritual? Uh, maybe Cabal Ritual is better because of Shouldred. Though, is that really, is that true? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try this. I honestly don't... This We don't have the Fluster Storms. I kind of like that Fluster Storms. Only, yeah, I don't know. I saw Ethan uh, for Michella was playing three Ley Lines. Uh, and Warner Pro was playing four. I think I keep this. They mulligan to six. <clears throat> and we'll see what happens here. But if they don't do anything on turn one, I think I might just personal tutor for Doomsday. Maybe I do it off Underground See now that I drew a second, because then we can cast Thoughtseize also next turn. If they Wasteland us here, then that's like an Orcish Bowmasters they're not casting. If they just, like, daze this, that's pretty annoying. Okay. They didn't. If they Wither Bloom Command us uh, to mill the Doomsday off, we I think we dazed that and just hope not to get dazed back. But, yeah, let's see. On a whim, I picked this island. It looked flashy and new and weird. Not really sure how I feel about it, if I'm being honest. I think it's also like a foiling. I, I, I really don't like foiling on Magic Online. But I'm, I could be wrong. Maybe that's just the the way it's supposed to look. I kind of I dig the artwork and, and like the, the sort of turquoise light blue. All right. Opponent's second turn. Do you have Wasteland? All right, there's a brainstorm, no wasteland. All right, let's see here. Do you have like force of will plus days or double force of will? Ah, we'll see how this plays out. My opponent seems to be like taking forever to make every decision here. So it might be that they're doing something else in real life or whatever, but I think just the risk their clock is gonna run out. All right, I'm gonna take the um, I'm going to take the Murktide here, I think. Um, or am I? Do I take the Force? They're pretty far away from casting Murktide. Yeah, no, I'm going to take the Force. And I'm going to cast Doomsday. Next turn they can play Bowmasters uh, around days and then Wasteland me. Alright, opponent conceded. <laughs> I guess that's that. All right, um, a three and two record. Uh, that's obviously always fine enough. Um, I feel like I played not as well as I could have uh, in the final match against Strifo. I'm not saying I would have won if I had chosen to play, at, play it out the way I ended up thinking afterwards that I should have, but uh, there's at least a, a decent chance. Um, I think we drew some. We drew pretty well. I think honestly, personal tutor kind of overperformed compared to what I had expected. Um, I think it did. Like it, that, that card really paid dividends here, <clears throat> which is interesting. I thought it was nice enough to have two oracles, but I wasn't like completely enamored with it. I don't like the ley lines. I mean, I don't know. I'm still not sold. I just, I don't like, I don't like the the randomness of it. Um, but but 
maybe I need to give it give it some more shots here. We certainly played a league here where they, you know, there were relevant matchups. Uh, um, the 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 black red reanimator and the, and the um, the thing here the last the last round versus uh, bug bug beanstalk. The ring didn't really end up doing a whole lot. Um, I don't know. Like I, I mean, the the results speak for themselves. I remember uh, Wonder Pro was like I think six and zero oh in in the showcase, and then had some bad results in the last three rounds, and then ended up like uh, placing in that uh, showcase challenge well, qualifier, whatever it was. I know Ethan is like putting up results with his deck, so like I think. Like if if you take this deck and compare it to the uh, the the Mark Tobias uh, four color the one ring Teferi deck, I think it's just really fantastic that there are two different quite different but very good Doomsday lists out there. I think it uh, it means uh, we have choices, we have variety. It also means opponents can't as easily sort of pre like be, be like. I guess um, what am I, the word I'm st stumbling for the word here, but uh, they they can't sort of ahead of time uh, just uh, predict everything that's going to happen and and every card that's going to be in the deck because Doomsday is somewhat malleable as as a as an archetype um, because the combo is is so sort of compact. Um, yeah. I right now I think I'm still leaning towards playing the Mark Tobias list because I just I'm having so much fun with it. Uh, and I'm also getting some decent results with it. So, but but I'm definitely not sort of averse to playing uh, turbo. I think I do need some more reps before I start making like drawing any conclusions here. Both in terms of like dusting off my my turbo sort of heuristics, and also just in terms of like having some more data. It's uh, you should never ever I think judge uh, be like be too hasty to judge when you play one league and you know things don't go your way all right so uh i hope uh, you enjoyed that and i'll be back with some more legacy bye bye